everyone welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new if you are new my name is Shannon and today I am doing something quite exciting hopefully I saw online that they are opening a Disney cafe in one of my local Primarks which is the Lakeside Primark um, so I have driven here today I've not really seen loads about it so it's not on the website so I don't know if they're like doing an official opening at some point but i did see on the grapevine that they are opening today so fingers crossed they are fingers crossed because they've not advertised it yet it's not going to be rammed fingers crossed we can go in and we can have some disney food the one in Birmingham does Mickey waffles and I really, really want Mickey waffles. So I just thought I would basically jump in the car, head on down and see what it's like and if it is open and share it with you guys because I'm sure some of you have been able to get to the Birmingham one. I'm sure lots of you have. I haven't yet. It's quite far. So when I saw that there's one opening in Lakeside, I was so happy. Um, so yeah, some of you guys might be interested in what the new Lakeside Disney Cafe is like. So I thought I would go and check it out and bring you along with me. This is what the menu is looking like. So we've got Mickey waffles and pancakes. cafe is here and it is open and I'm so excited um, I've just ordered Mickey waffles I think I ordered it with cream and mixed fruit um, it's a bit confusing the system like I think they don't really know what to do yet regarding like tables and orders um, but they said they'd bring the food over for me which is really nice I don't know if that's something they actually do or if it's because I've got bars but they were really helpful and they were like oh we'll grab you a table let you go and order um, I think just with a pram there there's so many stuff around obviously where they're just open and stuff they're just trying to find their feet are you excited can you see can you see the video can you see you're gonna have some they only have two high chairs though so buzz is gonna have to stay in his pram for the time being which is fine until he starts kicking off because he wants to get out but that's fine i'm gonna give him a little bit of my fruit it's got about about nine tables or something like that so not lots and lots it is kind of in the middle of the store as well so like it's between two escalators this bit used to just have like luggage i think um like suitcases and stuff but yeah now it's got the cafe I've just given Buzz his bottle and he's waiting for him to bring over my waffles. I'm kind of regretting not asking for a sauce now because I feel like just cream and fruit is a little bit dry. I'd probably have a bit of chocolate sauce or something, but I was a bit like, I don't know, panic ordered. Does anyone else panic order? I did. Um, drink wise, I was going to order one of their ice drinks that they said they had, but they aren't doing them yet. So I just got a Pepsi Max. Um, they had a few cans and then they had hot drinks. They have got cool, like, um, their cups are Mickey cups, like for teas and coffees and stuff. So that's cool but um yeah i'm really excited they also do um cookies and cronuts and a cake and cupcakes so it's cute like there's all that mickey you know um decal things on them and the cupcakes are like poison apple cupcakes and things like that so i think that's a really nice touch is um i'm actually impressed so far My Mickey waffle just arrived. Thought I'd ordered little ones to be honest, but I got a big one. So he's got like a little beard. They filled his mouth and ears with like Nutella, I think, or chocolate sauce and fruit. So how exciting. Almost Disney World, but not quite. We've got a tired bubba, haven't we? Are you gonna have a nap? But no, mum, I've heard there's waffles. I've heard there's waffles. You are so dreamy, aren't you? It's a bit, I don't know if it's a little bit 
bland compared to Disney World. I feel like probably Disney World puts a lot of sugar in and the actual waffle doesn't have a huge taste but with the fruit and the chocolate like it is nice. So I just got speaking to someone in here, um, another customer, and she watches Tim Tracker and stuff which is like amazing firstly. Um, but she said that she had to queue for about 20 minutes, half an hour before she was able to order and then when she had ordered there were no tables so she had to wait for a table to become free. So I think I was really lucky to be able to just walk straight in and have my food and everything like that. But um, yeah, I imagine at the weekends and in half term and like once people start to hear about this, this is going to be around. <laughs> only letting selected people in or you know like it'd be weird so yeah I'm glad that it's not so they're like where you order and everything is just in that little hut there so the cafe is just there and then they've got this like Mickey Mouse stand um, right here so a very conveniently placed but look at this um, Mickey Mouse pan so I don't know if you use that that is like raised up so I'm guessing that would be in whatever you made so I've just seen these milestone cards. I have some really similar that someone gave to me when I had Buzz. Um, so it goes up to 48 months. But they're £1.50, like that is such a good price. Um, and if you can see in there, like you just take a picture of your baby next to the card at each like milestone. I don't know, I think £1.50 is a really decent price for those. I've got loads more Disney plushies. Every time I come, they have branched out more and more and more. Then they've got like the baby toy bit. So you pull this one and it's a little mobile, which is nice. Dumbo's got crinkly ears, so the babies would love that. Um, got Lady, Baloo. Yeah, lots and lots. Lots and lots. They've got these Treasure Cove storybooks, which are the like Disney storybooks. And Buzzy's got this one. Um, but they've got a couple more. They've got Winnie the Pooh one, Dumbo. And they're two pounds each. So they've got the new Stacey Solomon range in. You can get these silicon cups. She's got um, kids' lunch set, which is silicon and a little spoon and a fork. Um, they've got a beaker. And they've got some little bowls. I don't know if they're part of the set. Um, got kids' cutlery. Oh, that's sad. A little bamboo plate, but that one's broken. Then they do have these bibs, a two pack of the silicon bibs, so you can get an orange one with this little pink one, and it just says little pickle on it. And then they've got the clothes, so they've got this nice coat. This looks, oh that's nice and fluffy. Um, little leggings, which are definitely unisex, they're really cute. like sheep it's not actually as soft as I thought it would be how cute is that I've got this little set here and the hats and the mittens how cute is this little backpack look it says happy days oh my gosh that's so cute that's not actually even Stacey Solomon but it definitely is kind of the vibes of her range that's just a Primark they've got the wooden toys I picked this up a few months ago for Buzz for Christmas the wacky one, pull along elephant, blocks, and then these are really lovely baskets. Like if you were going for like a safari theme room, that is perfect. They got rainbow one, and then they're doing even at teepees now, which is mad. Rugs, that looks so nice. Oh my gosh, that is so nice. Only £12 as well, that's such a bargain. Hooded towels, so many lovely bits. Even doing like a white white noise machine. 
They've got kind of more boy -y colours, I suppose. They've got the bowls in blue and green, the beaker, these bibs. Okay, so I do normally get Buzz's sleep suits, the zip ones from Asda. They're three for £11, and so this is £7, so it's quite expensive for just one. But this material is so soft and cosy. Oh my gosh, it's so nice. Okay, this backpack is part of the Stacey Solomon one, I think. How cute, happy crew, and it's all fluffy. So cute. Got little bags, beanies, so nice. Look at these, they've got play mats. Like, so it's hard to show you, but obviously this opens up into like a baby gym play mat thing, and this is the thing that hangs down. That's so good for Primark. I don't know how much it is. 35 pounds, so quite expensive, but these things are. Okay, that's really cute. He doesn't need any more hats, but that is really, really cute. Disney raincoat, again, he doesn't need a raincoat, but that is so cute, 14 pound. So I'm going to an event at the end of the month that is Disney related so I thought I would come up and see the clothes it's I don't know whether to go like a little hint of Disney which I will be with my bag anyway so maybe that'll be enough um, and then wear like a dress and trainers or something that is my general comfy go-to type outfit um, but I thought I'd come and check out the Disney clothes just to see um, yeah how they are looking and if there's anything that would suit they've got quite a few bits i've not seen before so i am back home now um i had a really really nice time at lakeside um seeing the disney calf and just walking around the shop i didn't really buy anything i was thinking if i bought anything i would show you guys what i got but i didn't really get anything so there is nothing to show you which ollie my husband will be very glad about <laughs> i didn't go spending any money um but i'm going to quickly edit this vlog and get this up for you guys because since it's a new thing I figured probably the sooner I can get it up the better for you guys so I hope you have enjoyed watching let me know in the comments below if you have been to the Disney cafe in Birmingham or if you are planning to go to the one in Lakeside and let me know will you be having the Mickey waffles or would you rather wait until you can get back to a Disney park again um I really enjoyed it as much as I didn't think the waffles were like super duper tasty there were some people there who had amazing looking toppings that I just think I made a rookie error maybe like really chocolatey looking waffles they looked amazing so um I will definitely try something a little bit different next time I go and trust me there will be a next time because who doesn't need a little bit of Disney magic in their life sometimes I actually put on my stories yesterday on Instagram if you don't follow me on Instagram it's just at Shannon and Lorraine I will leave it on the screen just here um but yeah I put on my stories just kind of jokingly like there's a Disney cafe opening, who wants to come? And so many of my lovely followers and friends messaged me saying, yeah, let's do it. So I was thinking like, imagine if we could just get a few of us together. Um, I would, it'd probably be a weekday just because I feel like the weekend would be absolutely rammed. But yeah, like just go for a coffee and a waffle at the Disney cafe. I just feel like that'd be a really nice thing to do. So yeah, maybe we can make that happen. But anyway, I am going to stop waffling on and waffle. <laughs> Cause I had a waffle. Oh my gosh, can you tell I'm a mum? Such a mum joke. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up and I will see you very, very soon for another video. Bye guys. I just wanna love you, just wanna